Navy recovery mission of the debris of the submarine near the Titanic is on hold. It's awaiting guidance from the Coast Guard right now. Officials believe a catastrophic implosion happened Sunday, leaving five passengers presumed dead. As questions grow about the implosion of the Titan submersible, the families of the five people on board are still trying to wrap their minds around what happened. Businessman Shazada Dawood and his 19-year-old son Suleiman were two of the five passengers. I think it's sad, but also meaning that his, also, his death also brought the world together. British billionaire Hamish Harding and world-renowned Titanic expert P.H. Narjale also made the trip. Ocean Gate Expeditions built the vessel, and the company's CEO, who'd been warned by former employees about its dangers, was inside the submersible. His dream was to go down and explore the Titanic, but unfortunately that dream turned into a nightmare. Experts say that never had to be the ending. The sub is the only one like it that was never certified. There were concerns about the use of carbon fiber and titanium to make the experimental sub. Uh, a number of people in the in the greater, you know, kind of deep submergence engineering community, including people that I'm very close with, uh, warned the company that this could lead to literally the term was cat catastrophic failure. And that's exactly what happened. A defiant Stockton Rush spoke with a Mexican actor back in 2021. I've broken some rules to make this. I think I've broken them with, with logic and good engineering behind me. The carbon fiber and titanium, there's a rule you don't do that. Well, I did. A remotely operated vehicle discovered parts of the Titan on the seafloor 1,600 feet from the Titanic Thursday after it lost communication Sunday during its dive to the shipwreck. It's believed to have imploded an hour and 45 minutes into the journey. The debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. The co-founder of OceanGate is defending the CEO's commitment to safety, saying Rush was very risk averse, but also keenly aware of the risks that come with operating in a deep ocean environment. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.